Hey YouTube, just wanted to make a quick update video on my progress in the Chicago Marathon and just how everything's been going. Um, I've played in all five of the events that have happened. Um, there are two left, one of which is um, non-premiere. Um, it's on New Year's Day. I'm not going to be attending that one. That's the only one I'm missing. So I will be at Displays on on the second. Um, if anyone else is going and sees this, um, say hi to me or you know whatever. Don't, don't have to. But um, anyways, uh, I started off uh, the first city, which was in Joliet on a low note. Um, I decided to play Eel Zone. It worked all right for me in Bentonville. It was really the only deck I had been having fun playing, and um, I thought it was one of the best decks, and I still think it is. But um, anyways, um, round one, I play the Mirror. Um, and my opponent starts off uh, really aggressively, Lost Burns a lot of energy in the beginning, and uh, basically I um, I get the slower start, and I decide that my strategy is to try and burn him out of energy. I don't think he was running many secondary attackers, and he didn't really decide to use them. So I was able to promote um, stuff like Zekrom and Thunderous, and I guess sack a couple of Magna Zones, um, get him to Lost Burn enough energy to the point where he couldn't do anything anymore, and uh, use Super Rod and stuff, and just kind of take the game, you know, slowly but surely, and uh, take the win to go 1-0. Um, in the second round, I faced um, a, the tournament organizer of uh, Southern Illinois. I think his name is Ryan. I might be getting that wrong. But uh, he was playing uh, Reshi Flosion. I kind of dead drew. I remember um, having a Thunderous uh, charged and ready to use Disaster Volt, but uh, I had my Cleffa asleep, and uh, it was really unfortunate. I had two catchers uh, in hand and, you know, energy to spare. Um, so I could have knocked out some Cyndaquils, and uh, really given given myself the game because of how long it took him to set up. But unfortunately, I didn't have the switch, and my Clef has stayed asleep for about three turns, and he set up, and I didn't set up well enough, and uh, he took that game. So I went to one and one I played my friend Kevin. He was the only person I knew there. I don't really play in Illinois much. Um, I live in Arkansas most of the year, so it was uh, you know, he was the only person I knew. Um, he was playing Stage 1 Rush with Don Fan, which is a horrible matchup for me, but... um. Luckily, I am able to uh, KO two Fan P and take care of his other Don Fan, and I end up taking the win. It was really close, but um, any day I can beat Don Fan decks is a good day for me. Um, so I went to 2-1, and one, and I was excited. And then I played uh, Matt, who I saw in the tournaments a uh, bunch, and he was a really nice guy. Um, I saw I played him in the mirror. Um, he got set up faster. I was able to make a small comeback in the end, but uh, he just had the right cards to you know hit me and beat me in the end, and it was a really good game. And I wasn't too upset going 2-2 uh, two and two at that point. I knew I'd miss cut because it's super competitive, but I thought that if I went out, I'd be able to hit kicker points, and, uh, you know, kicker points are always nice. So round five, I play um, Brian with uh, Coke or Cake. Um, this is probably one of the roughest games I've played. Uh, I lead lone Tynamo. I only have an N as a supporter. I go second, though. He has Kabalion with uh, an electric. A Mac, or a, a Voltorb, sorry, on the on the bench, and you can see where this is going. I play my lone supporter on my turn, and it's an N. I don't hit any basics. He hits the Electra, though, and then he um, energy mites and hits like five energy, and he is able to um, uh, Iron Breaker, I think is the, the 80 damage attack, but he's able to knock out my lone Tynamo and donk me turn two. We played another game, which was nice. I appreciate him, you know, being nice enough to, you know, let me play another game against him. Obviously, it didn't count for the win or anything. But it was nice to um, end up playing that game and win it. Um, in my sixth round, I played someone I'd like to not mention. Um, I played the Mirror. This guy, um, I feel like he's the first person I've ever seen that um, I believe cheated. Um, I later had an experience with him where he um, was playing one of my friends who catchered out one of his electrics with 10 damage and then had a plus power to flare destroy and knock out the electric, uh, the 80 damage plus the 10. But um, he catchered it. And then he was, went to look through his discard um, to get the fire energies. And when he did that, um, his opponent, who was playing electric still, um, he actually switched the two electrics and promoted the no damage one. It was my friend's first tournament. He didn't want to call a judge. And he just ended up giving up on the argument, which is really unfortunate. But um, this guy, it was probably one of the worst games I've ever played. I just could not get set up. I eked a couple of times. I end a couple of times. And I thought I could draw him out of energy. But he ran 16 or something, which is kind of... Um, obscene uh, a little bit. I mean, not bad, but I guess he went uh, full Magna Zone, no secondary attackers. So, unfortunate loss and a really hard day at 2-4. and four. The next day, I was kind of mad about my performance, and I decided to go with uh, Durant, which um, just kind of because it infuriates people, um, because 
I said I'd play Durant for one. Um, I told my friends that, and um, it went all right. Uh, I played round one in the mirror, and um, he's able to uh, just discard enough of my energy and make me miss a couple of devours, even though he um, he was the slower setup to uh, get the win. So, you know, it's a pretty simple mirror. Um, the games are short. Um, in the second round, I play um, a stage one rush using Yen Megas and Chino and Zorark, and... Uh, I get turn two donked again, same thing with the coke deck, and uh, I was really frustrated going, um, starting 0-2, and, and um, having gone 2-4 and 4 the day before. This is a 7 round one, mind you, this is a 66 masters. Um, round three, I play against a, and I'm reading off of this, I play against um, a newer player who's playing Tyranitar, um, Miss Magius, and uh, Lucario. I didn't actually see a Lucario, so I don't really know what set it's from, or even if it was in there, he was um, pretty new, and... Um, it was an, a bit of an easy win. I ended up with uh, four Durant with four special metal, and I had discarded all his Tyranitar, so he tried to attack him with Miss Magius, which doesn't really work um, against Durant. Um, and it was Miss Magius from Unleashed, not the uh, Poltergeist one, the other one. I think it's from Unleashed. But um, So that was um, a nice win for me, a change of pace. Um, round four, I played uh, ZPST player, and um, he's playing Tyro. He ends me, he gets me a good hand, and... Um, I'm able to just, you know, take advantage of lost removers, crushing hammers, and devour him um, with a pretty strong win. I think he only had about, he only took about two prizes. Um, round five, I played Isaac, who's a guy I played a lot. Really nice guy. Um, if you're watching, hi. You're cool. Thumbs up. I enjoyed playing you all our games. But uh, it's kind of funny. I feel like every day I played him, he was playing a deck that countered mine. And uh, he was playing uh, Reshiram Magnezone. And, um, or not Reshiram. Typhlosion, Magnezone with Reshiram, um, you know, that deck. And uh, he got he turned two Ma Typhlosions me, and against Durant, there's really nothing you can do. I wasn't running Rainbow at that point, I hadn't really thought of it. Or, I think I was, maybe? Maybe I was, was I running Rainbow? Uh, yeah, I was running Rainbow, because I remember using it against him, and um, kind of startling him with it. And uh, But it's not enough. My second Rainbow was a prize, so I couldn't end up killing it, and he got up a second attacker, just in case, anyways. Round six, I had a buy. So, which brought me to 3-3 three and three, um, because uh, the player hadn't been dropped. There was a little confusion, and he decided to just scoop instantly and give me the game. Kind of made me feel a little bit bad that I got to 3-3 three and three, um, on a freebie, but uh, I'll take it. It had been a rough day. And then round 7, I played a Zorark Victini Sharpedo deck. Um, oh, it had uh, Sharpedo, and um, it had Sinchino too. My bad. And uh, he starts with a full bench and a V-Create Victini, but I'm able, able to just use Crushing Hammers, Lost Removers, and Catchers to the point where he can't really ever attack, and um, I think he only takes one prize. So a 4-3 and three day on a buy, really a 3-3 three and three day in my book, but, um, you know, I'll take it. It was better than the day before. Um, I played Durant, and I, I didn't think I was that great with Durant, but um, I decided to play it the next day. Um, so this is the third city championship. This one, I believe, is the Huntley city championship. No, I might, um, I think it's Huntley. We'll go with that. Um, so I played Durant again. Um, I faced the mirror in round one, but, um, I'm able to get two, uh, devours off before he can, and then he's forced to Juniper to get his setup, and at that point, I pretty much know I win. He had to lead Rotom. That's the main reason I won. Uh, I was just able to catch her and just discard his energy. Uh, to prevent him from really attacking or devouring, and um, I end up winning with about 20 cards in my deck. Uh, the second round, I play Reshiflosion with Tacked Musketeers. Um, it, this is another time where I, I face Typhlosion, turn two, and just get wrecked. Round three, I play Isaac again. Um, and he's still playing Typhlosion Magnazone, and he's able to Typhlosion me again. Round four, I'm playing Eel Zone, which is the matchup I really wanted. And the reason I started playing Durant, really, these two games. Uh, in the first place, I played it like three times uh, the first day, so I thought I'd play it more. And um, I um, am able to get out the rants. I have uh, one of them prized, so I get out Rotom, but uh, weird stuff happens. Uh, I'm sitting on twins, and I just can't do anything, and um, I end up losing because I just can't get the energy out to devour, and I couldn't, and I was blindly um, mischievous tricking, and I just couldn't hit the, the fourth Durant. I think it was the fifth mischievous trick, so... Um, you know, rough for me, but uh, it happens. And then round five, I don't have written down. I'm trying to remember what I played against. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I know I did lose this round, and I was pretty 
pretty roughed up at this point. Um, in game six, I'm able to play a Lantern Electric. Um, he starts stacking on uh, Lantern. I have the Rotom on the bench and the Rainbow in hand, and I'm waiting for him to just attach one more energy so I can actually use my Black Belt and uh, Rotom Donk, but uh, that doesn't happen. He ends up uh, just kind of benching something else. I forget exactly what. I think it was an el evolving into an Electric. I don't remember exactly why, and I'm able to take the win. Um, so that was nice, um, going 2-4 and four instead of 1-5. and five. But still, uh, my ELO has taken a hit at this point. Um, so then the next day, I decide to go back to um, Magnezone Electric. Um, I'm trying to remember my games. I win against Durant uh, the first day. I went on a misplay. Um, she attached her rainbow to her Pichu instead of a Rotom. It would have been close. I, I think I could have won, but it would have been a tough win. Um, it could have gone really either way. But uh, with, with the misplay, I beat the Durant, which is nice. Uh, I really thought I was going to lose to Durant. Uh, round two, I play against... Oof, I can't remember what I played against. Oh, right. I played against a Rogue, which was cool. But it was uh, it was Audino, Flipteeny, and then Embor. So you attach a bunch of fire energy to the flipping Audino. And uh, she did knock out a Magnezone in one hit. Um, she did 160 to it. But um, I'm able to use Thunderous effectively in the early game to catch her stuff. And... Um, and then Magnezone to kind of just clean house, and uh, I end up winning that one too. So I go to 2-0. I play Don Fan Dragons in game three. Um, really bad matchup. I'm able to get the turn two Magnezone in the electric and lost burn to kill a Fan P, which is nice. But um, he gets out some Don Fans. I'm able to kill Don Fans, but he has one left on the field. I think I take out three Fan P Don Fans. You know those two, but um, I can't hit a switch in a certain situation to... Uh, Disaster Volt uh, Don Fan, or after I had already Bolt struck it to knock it out, and uh, he ends up taking that game. I then um, can't remember my next couple of matchups, but I remember losing out, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, I played my friend Peter in um, round six, playing 15 even though it's File Plume. Um, we played a lot. The matchup's gone, you know, either way. He ends up going ends up going first, getting the plume out before I get my zones out. And, you know, as that game goes, he ends up winning. I actually deck out instead of uh, him hitting all six prizes. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. So, on to today. Um, I decided that, it's a little disillusioned, but I decided to go with Magnezone Electric. Uh, I feel like my Magnezone Electric list was a lot better than it was performing. And I really wanted to prove that both to the other people at the marathon and myself. Um, so, um, round one, I'm going up against Reshi Flosion. I'm pretty sure it's a Pokemon. Um... But uh, she's playing 40 HP Cyndaquil, so I think it's kind of going to be an easy matchup off the bat. I start with um, using Thunderous, and I hit the turn 1 collector, um, and I'm able to turn 2 Disaster Bolt, and I just kind of take out some Cyndaquils first, and then eventually I'm forced to attack a Reshiram, but um, I take the game with her only taking about 2 prizes. Game 2 I'm able, I get to play against Zekrom Eels, or Zekrom Tornadus Eels. <clears throat> it was a really um, fun game. Fairly close from what I remember, but um, I remember just being able to get out Magnezones in the mid to late game and just keep uh, going at it with Magnezone and lost burning enough energy. I actually took every prize with Magnezone in that game. Um, I disaster vaulted a Zekrom for 80, and then I was able to uh, do 50 more to it with a uh, lost burn to take a KO. I took one against um, a Tynamo, one against a Cleffa, one against an Eel, and then the last two against Zekroms. So uh, kind of crazy, usually you don't do it that way, but um, it just worked out that I had the opportunity to, and um, that's what I did. Game three, I am paired against Isaac again, but he he's playing Durant now, so um, an unfavorable matchup for me once again. But um, I am able to get out the Zekrom, and um, I keep bolt striking. I'm able to get out um, an Eel, and I use my Electric, and uh, I have Clef on the bench to uh, make sure I can Dynamotor when... Uh, he knocks out my Zekrom with Rotom, which I saw coming. Um, so I'm able to actually Electric Ball to uh, attack a Durant twice. He was having trouble hitting Energy, and it didn't have Eviolite, so I'm able to knock out the Durant. And then in the end, I hit the. Um, he finally devours one of my catchers, which is really nice. Um, I had I'd been sitting on a junk arm and really needed the catcher, and I catcher his Rotom. It had 10 on it from Rainbow, and I'm able to Electric Ball again. Um, for 50 to just barely knock out that Rodom and take the win. Um, in round four, 
I play yet another Durant, and um, this time I lost. I took three prizes. I had to attack with Thunderous. That's what I led with. There was never a really good time to bench that ground where it wouldn't have got, gotten captured out. I probably should have played it anyways. Um, I think it's a, it was a bit of a misplay on my part. And I probably should have tried to get up two yields in that game, but uh, it was rough leading with Thunderous. But um, he ended up taking it to uh, top two. I think his name was... I'm blanking on his name. I'll probably put an annotation in here, but... Um, he was a nice guy, too, and, uh, you know, he did really well, and he got second, so congrats to him. In round um, five out of six, I am paired against yet another Turant, and uh, this time it goes my way again. Um, he uses Mime Jr. He has a really slow setup. He's forced to Juniper four energy out of his hand at one point, which is the reason I don't really love running too many Juniper in that deck. That happened to me a couple of times, too, and it's really not a good feeling. Um, <clears throat> so he does that. His uh, Mime Jr. goes to sleep three turns, which is um, nice. I really wanted to hit the catcher so I could start taking prizes. But um, I end up attacking with um, Thunderous and then later Zekrom. And um, I'm just able to um, get enough um, energy on the field to the point where it didn't really matter um, what he did. And um, I end up, his rainbow energy ends up being prized, and uh, I take the win. So, uh, I'm at 4-1. Bad opponent dropped, however. Um, there was no hard feelings about him dropping. He uh, had, like, a five-hour drive home. And, you know, I understand people want to get home for New Year's. He was a nice guy. And, you know, he made a comment saying, like, you know, sorry about my resistance. But at the same time, he was 3-2 um, at that point. And uh, so I guess it counts like him finishing 3-3 three, three, probably for my resistance or something like that. So not the worst thing in the world to happen. Um, but uh, I'm down paired for round um, six as well, which is... A little unfortunate knowing it's a win, make, cut, lose, I bust. Um, my resistance would definitely not be good enough with a drop and a down pair to make cut at 4-2, um, knowing that about 1-4-2 will make it. Um, and I am playing none other than Don Champ with Dragons. <clears throat> it's an interesting deck. Um, you know, definitely an effective deck running Machamp Prime and Don Fan Prime. Uh, I try and use catchers to stall out when I have a slower start. Um, but again, he gets out the champs and... <clears throat> I kind of un overlooked the fact that um, Fighting Tag kind of makes Catcher useless as long as you have a Fighting Energy. Um, luckily, there were one or two times he didn't, and he had to attach DCEs when I Catcher to Terrakian, uh, which he also ran. And um, I'm able to get set up. I have to Lost Burn a lot, though, and uh, I even have to Lost Burn to KO a Don fan, which really hurts. But uh, I end up banking on the fact that I have a, um, a all my Lightning Energy in my deck, and none of them prized, and I have two prizes. Um, and I lost burn with 7 energy in my loss zone. I lost burn 3 one turn, and then I um, I top deck the last energy. I had magnetic draws, and I could have probably decked out if I needed to, but um, with one prize, I do have the last lightning energy um, in my deck, and I am able to attach it for turn, and uh, lost burn for the last 150 to knock out a Machamp Prime. And uh, I make it into t cut at 5-1, which is, you know, really nice from going from 2 fours to 5-1. Um... In the top eight of Top Cut, I am paired against Jay Hornung, who is um, a really good player. I believe he top 16 at, at Worlds this last year, and he got a top three. I think he got third one year. Oh, I think it was 09 or something like that. I looked it up. I knew who he was. Uh, I know he's an underground rider for six prizes and will, really well known throughout the Pokemon community. Um, he's playing, uh, we're playing the Mirror. Um, he's running Zekrom's, two Zekrom, and uh, I don't think any Thunderous. And I'm running the 2 1 split of Thunder Zekrom. Um, in both games, I decide that it's a good idea to go aggressive with Zek with um, my Thunderous early. Um, it's really what distinguishes our decks. Um, and I want to take a lot of catcher KOs. Um, I know that my deck is faster in the early game. And in both games, I'm able to take the prize lead early. But uh, in the end, he's able to efficiently you know, knock out my Magna Zones. And I really I feel like I didn't test enough against the Mirror. Um, and it really felt like he was a lot more comfortable in it than me, and uh, probably a better player than me, you know. I'm not as good as someone who's gotten third and 16th at Worlds. It's pretty impressive, but um, he was definitely fun. He was a nice, he was a really nice guy, and, uh, you know, especially considering how, you know, pressure-filled a situation that is. Um, so I had fun. Um, in the second game, he ended up beating me uh, based on the fact that I couldn't get out of Magnezone in the late game. I filled up my bench too much, and uh, I can only lay down one Magnezone at a time. He was just able to catch her every single one. So he played the matchup pretty much perfectly, and, you know, I made a couple misplays, and, you know, those misplays make a big difference in the mirror, and he was just able to take me out. So I ended up 5-2, and two, making the top 8. 
Um, I haven't seen where I am exactly in that top eight. I had the third lowest resistance. I know one of those guys ended up winning the whole thing, so I finished seventh or eighth. Um, not too bad out of 57 people, uh, especially considering the level of competition there. Um, so I had a lot of fun. I still have one tournament left in cities, and then I have states, uh, regionals, and some battle roads, and maybe nationals. Not sure if I'm going to be able to make it out. I really hope I can. Um, it'd be really nice. I've, you know, this is my second year, and I've never been. But um, I should have some more content um, coming at you guys. I have the first game between um, Jay and I. I know I, I ruined the ending, and I only got the first game. But uh, we had a low battery. But uh, it's a good game. It's fun to watch. You know, I haven't actually seen the footage myself, so I can't attest to the quality. But um, I have that. I also have a uh, deck profile of Durant um, coming at you guys if you want it. Um, you know, just to add some more content to my channel. I don't have too much going on right now. But really, that's it for now. Um, you know, if you want, if there's something you want to see me do, you know, just you know, PM me, message me, comment, you know, whatever. But uh, I should be bringing you more content, trying to get this channel stable. I'm going back to college um, on the 15th, and I will be at my league then, going to my league again. So I should be able to get some um, good uh, matchups, you know, on, on camera then um, with a lot of my friends who play. I don't really know as many people who play here, so it's been hard to get matches starting out this channel. But um, that's about it. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I know um, I'm not doing too much. I think I'm just having a, a nice night in with uh, my girlfriend. I'm going to have a Skype date with her. So, you know, it's kind of a boring night for me. But, um, you know, I hope you guys all have fun, be safe, you know, all that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Thanks.